Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Before we dive into the latest and most thrilling updates about the Blackpink girls, I thought we'd take a quick detour to catch up on some of the most electrifying news that's been buzzing around today. In the previous video, I explained why I felt that Dispatch was paid for their recent exclusive bombshell report about Han So Hee and Ryu Jun Yol dating in Hawaii. Their article was written unusually good way, and the HD photos taken seemed staged, almost like a concept shot, even concluding with personal well wishes for the star. In some dramatic developments, recent evidence has emerged suggesting that Han So Hee may even have a close relationship with Dispatch. Specifically, after Dispatch posted photos from the couple's date in Hawaii on March 16th, fans immediately noticed Han So Hee's phone screen displaying an online community poll for women titled Generation Women. With over 20,000 participants, the poll was conducted to gather opinions on whether people supported or opposed Han So Hee and Ryu Jun Yol's romantic relationship. The poll results showed that 80% of the opinions opposed this relationship. It is believed that Han So Hee was also viewing the poll results at that time. However, immediately after allegations regarding Han So Hee's screenshot circulated, Dispatch swiftly went back and edited the article, discreetly blurring out her screen in the photos. Furthermore, on March 21st, netizens continued to provide shocking evidence that Dispatch reporter Lee Ho Joon, who took the photos of the couple in Hawaii, was also the one who photographed Han So Hee's pictorial in 2020 for Dispatch, a fashion version of Dispatch. Not only that, Dispatch even sent a coffee truck with these photos to the My Name filming set to support Han So Hee in 2021. What do you think of this new revelation? Meanwhile, there are mixed opinions among netizens after Baby Monster officially released the Aeon's teaser for their title track, Sheesh. While Aeon's visuals and charisma have received much praise, its sound hasn't impressed netizens much. Some even find it disappointing and lacking innovation as expected. However, since this is only a small small clip of Sheesh, the song may have a completely different sound than what people expect, so let's patiently wait and see. Meanwhile, with the entire track list of Baby Monster's first mini-album revealed, YG's main songwriter and record producer Teddy once again remains absent from the credits, further fueling rumors of his departure from the company. Previously, Teddy was reported to have moved the Black Label headquarters from the YG building. If true, the return of Blackpink is becoming increasingly uncertain due to the absence of the group's fifth member. In the midst of Blackpink members still being busy with their individual schedules, fans of all four girls seem to be losing hope for Blackpink's comeback this year. Recently, one of Blackpink's largest fan bases, which has been with them since the group's debut, has decided to block YG on Twitter, along with tweets showing frustration and desperation while waiting. However, it seems that fans' hopes are being regnated as director and producer Charmian Lee, who also works with the Recording Academy, unexpectedly revealed that she was present at YG's headquarters in a story posted on March 21st. What further excites fans is that she used Blackpink's D4 as background music for this story. Earlier last week, Charmian even commented under Jenny's post, saying that she would soon meet Jenny again. She also follows all the Blackpink members and their personal labels on Instagram. Could it be that Charmian will replace Teddy to take charge Blackpink's comeback? 